we start with goodwill to remind ourselves of why we're here. Like everyone else, we want happiness. But we want something that's special, a special kind of happiness, a happiness that doesn't cause any harm to anybody. That means we have to be very careful and very responsible in how we go about it. There's some people will say, you shouldn't look for happiness for yourself, you should think only of other people. But the Buddha wasn't in that list of people that he was, who would say that. He says, you look for happiness in a way perfectly fine, as long as it's not harming anybody. You don't harm yourself, you don't harm other people. So think about it. This is why we meditate. And this is why we practice at large. So try to keep your practice in, in that general vein. That you don't want to harm anybody with your thoughts or your words or your deeds. And so you have to be very careful as you open your mouth to speak, as you move the body to, to act, even as you engage your mind to think. You ask yourself, where is this going? What's this going to accomplish? There's so many things we do and say and think simply because we feel like it. This is the way I am, and this is what I'm always going to be. That attitude makes you impossible to teach, impossible, and it makes it impossible for you to learn. The way you are is based on what you've been doing. And the things you've been doing it can be changed. You can change your habits, become a better person by doing better things. Well, too often people are addicted to substances because they can't imagine finding happiness another way. Well, we're also addicted to certain ways of doing things because we lack imagination. We can't imagine ourselves acting like the ideals that we see. But ideals are there for a good reason. Some people say, well, they're like the North Star. You use it to guide you, but you never expect to get to the North Star. That kind of ideal is impossible. You look for ideals that are doable in terms of observing the precepts, in terms of developing concentration, in terms of developing discernment. All, everything the Buddha taught is doable. Human beings can do it. You're a human being. You may not have been acting those ways in the past, but you can act those ways. That's the message. This is why this is a teaching for everybody, not only for people who are already good, but a teaching for everybody who wants to be happy in a responsible way. So look at your activities, look at the way you speak, look at the way you think, look at the way you act around other people. What can be improved? What can be changed? to make your thoughts and words and deeds more harmless. When you think in those ways, then you're using your thinking for the right purpose. And the benefits will spread around. <laughs>